hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope that everybody is doing well before i get into anything i first want to say thank you to everybody that has liked subscribed and um shared my 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 previous video and yeah i was pretty overwhelmed and i didn't know what to do and then and but i'm here now recording this and this is the second time i'm recording this because um the first one i felt like i was sharing information that was not going to add value to your life and that's not my purpose you know i'm here to add value so anyway um so today i'm going to be sharing with you a portion of my skincare routine which is going to be my moisturization phase and i've already washed and 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 i've already used my neroli face serum um so this okay i'm going to be linking everything in the description box below so don't mind if you can't see because of the light and and and, and i'm pretty lazy to do the whole ah, da, 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 you know and then wait for it to focus blah 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 anyway um so yeah so i've already moisturized my my face with that and the oil feels very soft and leaves your skin quite moisturized and hydrated which is the reason why we actually put an oil slash serum in your face and yeah so what i want to talk about today is finding your place of belonging and if you see me looking down this because i've got my nose here because i like being prepared and so that i can be able to structure my thoughts and ensure that i'm only focusing on that specific topic of the day because i'm a gemini and y'all know we just we could be saying one thing and then our brain just digresses to something else and then we go back boom then we talk about something else so today i'm gonna try my hardest to focus my thoughts on one specific topic and then talk about that okay cool so the second thing i'm gonna go in with is my neutrogena hydro boost capsule in serum um this has the mother of acids which is hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid basically just helps with the absorption of of whatever it is that you're going to be piling next to your skin including the product itself okay cool and it helps to like i think for me more than anything it hydrates my skin like my skin never feels dry after i use this so that's why i use it so i like to define myself as a woman a woman because ability to constantly be in search of how to view life from a different perspective and because the cool thing about life is that it's gonna continue to happen to you until you realize that it's happening for you so i'm going to be going on a 21 days of mindfulness which starts today and i'm going to be focusing on three things which is my mind my thought okay well my mind are my thoughts so my thoughts my actions and my values so i want to ensure that these three things are aligned with who i want to become and so for example life is going to continue to throw me difficulties that's not going to change but what needs to change is my perception right it's how i look at things and i think that's what i want to start training my mind to do is that the reason why i'm going to go on this journey of 20, 21 days of mindfulness is so that i can recover from this year specifically because it's been an interesting tough beautiful year and i want to first recover and then i want to set intentions for next year and um yeah so that's what that's the reason why i'm going to be going on this mindfulness journey and if you guys want to come along you are more than welcome to right so the second thing i'm going to be using is my neutrogena hydro boost water gel um i mean self-explanatory it has water and you already know what water does for your skin right it it hydrates it leaves your skin supple um again this has hyaluronic acid if i'm not mistaken but you know what here's the thing this is what i can tell you if I know I look like I don't have any products, but that's because these products are so lightweight. That's the reason why I love them. You don't feel like you have a mud of products on your face. It does not feel like that at all. And um, yeah, so going back to what I was saying, so I want to be mindful of my thoughts. I think a lot of us suffer from allowing negative thoughts to dwell in your mind and consume most of your time, which is what causes anxiety because anxiety is just basically a creation 
of 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 worst case scenarios in your head how about you actually start turning anxiety into something positive and i know it's hard because i suffer from anxiety okay so don't come for me and i know anxiety is quite tough to overcome and all that kind of stuff but i think your mind is the creator of everything you 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 create your own reality and it's important for you to know that because it all starts in your mind before you can action in action anything out it all starts in your mind so if we could kind of learn how to tweak reprogram rewire how we think i think we should we would actually start to see life a bit more different what i basically want at the end of this 21 days is to be comfortable with uncertainty when you become uncomfortable with uncertainty it kind of leaves you with no option but to be humble to be humble to the point whereby you tell yourself it's okay for me not to know what i'm doing right now and but you know it's gonna work out you know that this too is part of a process this too is part of a bigger picture and and i, I want to say that to you today that i know some of you guys are just going through life and you're thinking that life is happening to you and not for you but i think it's also important for you that to take time in this tough time just try to reassess your life truly ask yourself what are you doing here on earth are you happy with what you're doing and i think the most important thing that i want for you to know is that i too get stuck and i think if if there's something i know for sure is that if your intentions are pure then the universe will work with you not against you it will work with you and um I think I am at an edge where I'm becoming and I can feel it. It's like, you know, when you are yearning, I feel like my soul is yearning for something that I can feel it. Like it makes me emotional when I think about it. I'm not trying to cry in front of the camera, but just thinking about it because I can feel that I'm, I'm, I'm at that tip of, of figuring it out you know and that's all i want to do because everything is figure outable and i can feel that i am so close to figuring it out and and my soul just it's is yearning you know when you are home but you're still homesick um and i'm going to become emotional now because my intentions are so pure that genuinely pure and I just want so many things to work out and not and um yeah you guys i think it's time that we learn to listen to our own creative instincts i think it's time to take those silent prayers and speak them into existence i think it's time to stop playing it safe and taking or taking a decision that you know you're going to be very comfortable in um because you're not going to grow if you're going to constantly choose to be comfortable you're not going to grow and um it's important for you to also know that every decision that you take needs to be aligned with who you are but in order for no, for you to know who you are you need to do the work you need to you need to go you need to sit down you need to question yourself you need to know your triggers and um i completely forgot about the rest of my skincare routine i'm sorry okay um he we're gonna go in with my um even pigment perfecter did i already put my water gel i hope i did did i did i already use this if i didn't yeah i, I think i did okay cool so the, no before we go in with the creamer we're gonna go in with my um Ooh, that's a lot with my neutrogena anti-wrinkle moisturizer um so this has retinol oil ah, not retinol oil this has retinol acid and this is good for reducing fine lines um for wrinkles for you know just kind of slowing down the process of aging and i'm going to be very honest with you guys i only use this maybe once or twice a week because i'm only 24 and i don't really have um wrinkles but it's also important to prevent them because i mean 
prevention is better than cure right yes so that's the next thing that i am yeah so that's the that's it that's the next step and then the last step i'm going to be doing is my cream my night cream um this is very lightweight this is from urison this is urison um even pigment perfector and this again is a very light weighted product and all of my products are uh including my day products and my night well night products and day products are very lightweight because i am more on the oilier side of the spectrum and yeah so i think the, the the last thing i like to do is massage everything in that's like the most important part massage everything in um so the last thing i want to say to you guys is that effort is only required if there is resistance and you can take time to unpack that and if you want you can leave with you can leave a comment below and tell me if you were able to understand what i just said which i'm going to repeat is that effort is only required if there is resistance the minute there's resistance in anything that you do the minute you get that anxiety attack, the panic attack, the minute you get like a sleepless night, the minute you start getting paranoid, that means there is resistance. And that means you need to go sit down and think about the decision that you're about to take. Because clearly the signs are there. It's not aligned with who you are. So why are you, why do you want to continue thinking about it, doing it? Don't do it. If if it if it's causing you to lose your edges, if it's causing you to get pimples and age and become ugly and lose your hair and lose weight and lose happiness, then stop doing it. I, sometimes you we, sometimes the signs are there. We just we just refuse to see them. We are so blinded. We just like no man. We're not gonna do that. But anyway, I hope I was able to share information that was valuable to you. So the last step is to moisturize your lips. Because who does not? Please don't walk around with cracking ashy lips. Put, put petroleum jelly, okay? You don't need some fancy moisturizer. No, just put, just put Vaseline. It will be fine. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And you already know what to do. I'm not going to say it. Oh, you're wondering what is it that you're supposed to do? You're supposed to subscribe. How?